My name is Ahmed Abu Saif. Shokan and I are a long life friend. He's facing a risk of death penalty or in prison for the rest of his life for just taking picture. As we approached the Rab al square sit-in, I could see a billow of smoke uh, rising from below. Uh, scenes of horror uh, and a massacre uh, unfolded before me. It was a protest for the supporters of the ousted President Mohamed Morsi. Large weapons, tear gas, Molotov cocktails being thrown in the air, rocks. You can imagine that a, a journalist could very well find themselves caught up at the wrong place. So he was covering with the security lines. He's not even with the protesters. He was covering and taking picture alongside with American and a French journalist. The security came and they arrested them and after a couple of hours they released the French and the American journalist. But Shaukan, since he's Egyptian, they mixed him up with the protesters and since then he's in the prison. He did what any journalist would do, which is to say, I'm a journalist and unfortunately he's paying the price for that now. I'm scared he will die in the prison. Shokin described in one of his letters when he marked 600 days in the prison and he said, we left our dignity at the prison gates and he described the cell that he's living in with a 12 inmates. The size of the cell, it's three by four meters. He described they are sleeping on the floor on the tiled cold floor there is a people who's sleeping actually in the bathroom because couldn't fit all of them. His health in a bad conditions. He has a hepatitis C without the medical attention, without med medical care, without his medicine. I'm not optimistic, he will die. Dear Ambassador Mohammed Abu Dhab, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said in September 2015 that there is unprecedented freedom of expression in Egypt. And in August 2015, he said that Egypt respects and appreciates the role of the media and allows journalists to work without any restriction. So I argued to release photojournalist Mahmoud Abu Zaid Shokan immediately and unconditionally. He's a prisoner of conscience who has been behind bar for over three years solely for peacefully doing his work as a journalist. He's on trial and at risk of death penalty of convicted. I strongly argue the authorities. In each thing that I do, or I go to places, or things that I seen, I sometimes I see it in shaken eyes. Like it hurts me. It hurts me to like to express my freedom while he's still in prison. Still, I still feel like I have my my other half without a freedom.